So this is a question about three. A three is a connected graph without cycle. Example, this is a three. And for this example, this is a three with one, two, three, four, five, six, six degree one vertices and one degree six vertex. Back to the question. Let T be a tree on 21 vertices with no degree 2 vertices. So degree 2 vertices is something like this. These are degree 2 vertices. Okay. If so, find the minimum number of degree 1 vertices. be the number of degree k vertices. Let the maximum degree of t to be k. So we have n1 plus n2 plus n3 all the way to nk equals to 21. 1 of n1 plus 2 of n2 plus 3 of n3 all the way to k of nk this is sum of degree. Sum of degree will equal to double of the number of ages. For a tree on 21 vertices, it will have 20 ages. So this will be 2 times 20, that is 40. Also note that there's no degree 2 vertices and 2 is equal to 0. So we will take note of this later on. So call this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Our focus is to find the minimum number of degree 1 vertices, which means that we need to find out what is the minimum value of n1. So for some reason, equation 1 times 3 minus equation 2. So this is 2n1. And n2 actually equals to 0. So we can just ignore it. n3, 3n3, 3 and 3 will give you 0. And 3 and 4 minus 4 and 4 is negative and 4. So you can imagine what happened to the rest. It will be uh, 2 and 5 and so on and so forth until the last one should be k minus 3 and k. 63 minus 40, that is 23. Make n1 as subject. So n1 it will be 23 plus n4 plus 2 of n5 plus all the way to k minus 3 and k over 2. And note that all these numbers are non-negative. So this will be greater or equals to 23 over 2. That is 11.5. Since n1 is an integer, and therefore we conclude that n1 is greater than or equal to 12. Now from here, it is not right to say that minimum value is equal to 12 because this number may not be achievable. So we need to prove that n1 can be equal to 12. Uh, this can be done by using a construction. What happens when n1 equals to 12? So let me continue here. If n1 equals to 12, n1 has come from here. If it's equal to 12, meaning that n4 has to be equal to 1. n4 equals 1, and it means that k is equal to 4. Now also note that the sum of n1, n2, n3 to nk equals to 24. This is equal to 13, and therefore n3 equals to 8. See whether it's possible to construct a tree using this information. Since n4 equals 1, this is the only degree 4 vertex. We can label the 4 here. And we also have 8 degree 3 vertices. So call these are all degree 3 vertices. We need to have 8 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4. Another 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. The rest should be a degree 1 vertex. And the degree 1 vertex will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this is a graph with n1 equals to 12. In other words, 
12 is achievable and therefore the answer for this question is equal to 12. So that's the end of this question.